be? Walking. Since eight o'clock? Ah, uh, since six, actually. You look so peaceful, I didn't like to disturb you. It's beautiful out there, Gail. I'll soul around for miles. Hey, I saw a sparrowhawk. Not seen one of them since I was a kid. Weatherfield's not renowned for its wildlife. Shush. The W word is banned. For the rest of the day, at least. You're not annoyed? No. No. What then? Nothing. Nothing I'm daft. You married me, didn't you? You'd have to be. <laughs> For a minute, and I woke up. I thought you'd gone. Gone, gone. Felt like I'd been hit by a ton of bricks. Oh, call me, yeah. <laughs> I know it's silly. All those years before you came into my life, I was fine. And suddenly now... Now I'm Mrs. McIntyre. I feel I couldn't live a single day without you. You still here? And to think they said you were the brains of the family. What a fight when an empire run. Sets an empire up properly, and it runs itself. I just think it's weird, that's all. Mum and Joe left on Friday, Ted on Saturday. Monday morning, here you are, eating us out of house and home. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want the last of the sugar puffs? It's the green old monster talking again now, isn't it? I told you. I'm not interested in Tina. Anyway, she's still with that meathead boyfriend of hers. You'd know that, wouldn't you? So what's keeping you? Isn't that obvious? So you, David? Your charm, your easy style. I want to be with you. I want to be you. All done. <laughs> Is that it? My fond farewell. Get used to me being around, David. I'm gonna start pulling my weight. Yeah, I'm my ex-girlfriend. Thanks. You were with her for a year, and I didn't even get to first base. It's pant the back, son. You beat me hands down. Now, can we move on? What, do you want to hug it out? <laughs> Please yourself. Try not to miss me too much. Some people won't miss you at all. It's twice in one week, Tina. What? You've broken my heart. Hey, pass me the sick. Cat, I'm using it myself. It's amazing, isn't it? We live a couple of hours from here. Might as well be another planet. No reason we can't come more regularly. You say that, don't you? Never happens. We could bring the boat. <laughs> so you could push me in and claim on the insurance? You know I swim like a brick. The idea is to stay on board, Gail, <laughs> so you don't have to swim. <laughs> Besides, I could teach you. My money, Chuck. You bring it if you like. I'm happy just waving from the jetty. That's all I've done these past ten years, wave from the jetty. All those fellas half as talented as me go cruising past on yachts. You've had a bit of bad luck, Lou. But the tide's turning. We just have to be patient. Do we? Patience is overrated. If you and me put us minds to it, we could take on the whole world and win, do you know that? I'm serious. Why shouldn't we have it all? Well, now you're asking. I fancy blue for you. With a nice walnut tree. Then blue it shall be. <laughs> Happy to be home. Uh, next question. Uh, this is dead embarrassing. What? Have you got a tenner for the cab? Oh! 
start as we mean to go on, why don't we? I feel terrible, I really do. I meant to go to the machine in Windermere. Thanks. Uh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Now, I would love to carry you over the threshold, but... Uh, no, 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 I'm fine walking. <laughs> Yippee, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Climb up any fells. When I think country, I think pub. <laughs> he had several long walks. Don't you listen to him. Right, well, I think I've shown enough polite interest in your honeymoon. I'm off. Was well, there any news on the house whilst we were away? No. Any visitors? No. I'm doing some washing. Have you got anything? Yeah, there's a big mountain of it in my room. I'll go get it, shall I? David can go and get it. No, it's all right. I mean it. Things are going to change round here. Well, they're not. You go and enjoy yourself. Letters. They first attempted to assert me authority and you completely undermined me. <laughs> he wouldn't buy it anyway. I'll let you down in your hour of need. Next time, baby, I'll be there. What's this? What's going on? No. You're talking to a picture? Are you nuts? It's not just any picture. It's our picture. <laughs> Is that Rosie Webster? You're talking to a nude picture of Rosie Webster? <laughs> so when did it start then? <laughs> this all plus infatuation? Leave it, David. Well, you were talking to a picture, so you're obviously obsessed. It's not like that. We're on a higher plane. No. Oh. Graham, look at me, yeah? Listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. I've told you, Rosie Webster will not touch you with a barge pole. Forget her. Well, opposites attract. I mean, look at you and Tina. Yeah, Tina thought I was exciting, you know, edgy. I can do edgy. No. What you do, brilliantly, is shifty, you know, creepy, pathetic. Well, she went out with Stape. Maybe she likes a bit of lunar action. If you was a millionaire footballer or, or a pop star, you know, she might. I mean, might give you a second look, but you know, window cleaner. And gardener, butcher, entrepreneur. Loser. But I'm just trying to look at it from her point of view, that's all. You make her sound really shallow. She is really shallow. Yeah, and I'm deep. So we're like yin and yang. It's doomed. <sighs> you I, I know you are. Just, I can't stop thinking about it. Just checking something up on the internet, love. What's this? Keep it shut. Can't close the lid, they won't take the rubbish. This isn't the first time we've been visited by the wheelie bin fairy. Hey? My lid was closed last night. This morning it's bulging with empty cans of lager I don't drink. But I know a man who does. Eddie Windass. Gonna wring his strawny neck. Whoa, whoa, steady on. There's no one in. I saw him all leave this morning. Well, if you see him before I do, tell him. I'm going to slit him open and stuff him with his own rubbish. Feel like I'm back at school. What are you doing? I'm practising my new signature. Gail McIntyre. <laughs> what do you think? I can do it like this, or I like it like this with a big... 
whoosh on the way. What do you think? I like this one. Do you like my autograph? OK. Oh, my. No. Gail McIntyre. Thank you. <laughs> this came for you. Oh, right. What is it? Uh, oh. Life insurance. What do I need life insurance for? In case anything happens. And I see. Crikey, is that the monthly premiums? Bit expensive, isn't it? Yeah, well, that covers us for nearly half a million. Well, add this up every month and it'll cost us half a million. Covers us both. Well, it's a lovely thought. We can't afford it. Not now. Anyway, I'm not thinking of popping me clogs any time soon, are you? No, of course not. <laughs> That's that, then. What do you think you're doing? Reaching? You'll be eating your own rubbish if you put it in my wheelie bin again. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You want to go outside and sort this out? No, no, right, no. we'll get the message. My wheelie bin's not empty next week. We're going to stuff you in it, take it down the scrapyard and drop it in the crusher. What's the problem with you and Kevin? You just threatened me. Why? What did you do? Nothing. It's me you're talking to. I was being eco-conscious. How's that? I did a bit of redistribution. Recycling the household rubbish within the community. You know, shedding out the bin bags evenly between the wheelie bins. Oh, that sounds like a good thing to me. Then he comes in here throwing his weight around. It's him that's got a problem. Oh, no, you don't. Back to work. Are you trying to get rid of me? Yes. One of us has a job. Let's not risk losing it over a bit of washing up. Mm. I'll sort this and then get down the job centre. I'll see you later. See ya. Cheers, Mum. Ah, oh, Gary. Mine is breakfast. Where's mine? Oh, you can pay for yours yourself. Now, what about this farewell do tonight? What oh, farewell do? We agreed we'd have one. I don't want a farewell do. <laughs> well, he's getting one, isn't he, Eddie? If the lad says he doesn't want one... You can't join the army without a do, Gary. And what would you know about it, John, eh? Look, it's a big day in your life. You've got to mark these things. Don't let him bully you into it, son. And don't let him talk you out of it. All he's worried about is paying for it. It will come cheap. It'll cost what it costs. So what do you say, love? Something simple in the road is not too much of oh, Go on, then. But no speeches. OK. The cringe-making. Let's start thinking about a cake. No chance. Well, I'm not some kid at a birthday party. You can't have a do without a cake. It's not natural. Men. Do not eat cake. Since when? You shovel it down like a gannet normally. I mean it, Dad. All right. No cake. Hey, um, uh, how do you spell affection? That's a long word to fit on a cake. I'm not doing a cake. Well, then what were those sketches I saw you making earlier? You should mind your own business. Hey, don't get me wrong. I approve. He thinks he doesn't want one, but he does. Why did you say that? Well, I did time with him, didn't I? Got to know him. He's got a very soft centre underneath, like your cakes. <laughs> a double F E C T I O N. Affection. Thanks. Oh, I get it. You're writing him a letter telling him how you feel. I'm flaming well, no. I booked the Rovers. How much? Never mind how much. I could have asked Steve for main streets if I thought on. That's your cake ideas notepad. So? But he said he didn't want one. You can't deny a man his nature, Anna. Oh, show me. When it's finished. 
With this tasteful into Eddie, you wouldn't do anything untoward. Let me put it this way. It's fitting. Oh, we're not licensed, or I would. All right, Ches. All right. You raring to go? Yeah, can't wait. Are you scared? What of? Getting killed. Or losing a leg. I'm only doing my training. Yeah, I know, but after that, they could send you to a war zone. You must have thought about it. Well, if it happens, it happens, doesn't it? Now, oh, Billy, we're in Iraq. Yeah? He went missing on a patrol. We thought something had happened, but he'd just gone off on a bender with some mates. But they nailed him for that, didn't they? 14 days in Slammer. We were bricking it till we knew we were safe. Yeah, I bet you were. I don't get how you can be so cool about it. Have you seen my life? How do you mean? Criminal record. No qualifications, no prospects. You know, this is my big chance to do something. And I'm going to grab it with both hands. Hey, for you. What's with the banner? Oh, there's always a banner. I said that I didn't want to fuss, man. I'll get on with you. <laughs> hey, everyone. Come up. Oh, thanks, Tom. Uh, I know you said no cake, but tell me you've not made one. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not meant to be a hand grenade, is it? I, I know you said real men don't eat cake, but I thought this was oh. a compromise. Oh, is this naff or what? Oh, you said it'd be tasteful, Eddie. Uh, I said fitting. Just in case Gary needs reminding of what's in store for him. Poor Anna. Mm, that's not bad, actually. Can you taste the uh, lemon in the icing? It, it, it gives it that extra zing. Oh, Eddie. Oh, I can't believe it. Mm, it's not bad, mm. Edward, not bad at all. Uh, tasteful, mm. even if tasteless. Mm. Looks like this is going down a bomb, eh, Eddie? <laughs> Get it? It's the first time I've started a meal with the dessert, but uh, there you go. Are you sure that's good for your figure, Norris? Family, I thought you were in Scotland. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> you have to forgive your dad for the cake, Gary. No, it's all right. It's his way of saying he loves you, isn't it, Eddie? What? Oh, no. Come on. You have to tell him how you feel today of all days. No, he doesn't. Aren't you going to miss him? Well, that waste of space. Can't wait to see the back of him. Yeah, feelings mutual. So we're agreed on one thing. Oh, put it there. <laughs> I want to make sure he goes, don't I? What's that? Someone I used to have my air rifle. So where's the gun? No gun, Chesney lad. Just the target. All the best then, Gary. Cheers, mate. I'm really sorry, you know, we had that little fall out as well. Me too. Yeah. And maybe when you come back, you know, we can uh, meet up for a bevy. You alright? Yeah. Well, uh. Give him one from me, yeah? <laughs> uh, Gary, uh, I, th I thought you might like this. It's a, it's a cat badge from the old East Lancashire Regiment. All right. Interesting history. It's formed in 1881, saw action in the First World War at Passchendaele and Epes, and famously at Dunkirk. I shouldn't really have this another piece, but <laughs> oh, every man has his strong points. With Eddie, it's his cake mixture. <laughs> My nurse is so thin. I thought like ducking and diving, he does. <laughs> I'm meant to be on a diet since Christmas and New Year. Oh, me too. I've signed up to a dance class. Oh, I'm from the Blue Gym. Oh, come along if you like. Really? Oh, it's giving me a real spring in my step. There's uh, some well-toned gentleman there, very nimble on the feet. <laughs> That's not why I go, of course. <laughs> Will they have room? Of course, they've got loads of spaces. <laughs> yeah, I might just do that. 1956 Suez, of course, and in 58 they were amalgamated with the South Lank. What are you doing? Who's put this on your back? I don't know, but I'm sure I can guess. Joke. He's putting his neck on the line for spineless tongue rags like you. Yeah, well, I didn't ask him, sir. No, but if men like him didn't do it, you'd soon know about it. He, he ought to be you shot to bits and paraded back in a coffin, not him. Oh, don't worry about it, man. He's the loser. They're right. He's worth a thousand of you. Yep.
man scumbag upset you. But he's right. Gary is a target. Yeah, and Gary's right when he says he's a loser. He's not going to lose his life, though, is he? Come on, ma'am, don't spoil it. Man. Wherever you go, there'll be people trying to kill you. Well, if I have to say it one more time, I'll scream. Right, I'm going to do my basic training. I can jack it in at the end if I don't like it. But what if you do like it? Then he'll find himself and make a go of his life. Until a bullet or a landmine gets him. What, so I stay here and rock, do I? End up back in prison? He has to do this, Anna. And I, for one, am proud of him. I know, I just worry. In fact, I'm so proud. Steve! Yes? Drinks for everyone. Oh, On me! <laughs> I'm going to toast this problem. I don't want to embarrass our Gary, but, but I always knew he'd be trouble. Ever since he was six, when he nicked a crossbow from museum and tried to sell it out market, I thought, hey, up, we're in for a rough ride here. <laughs> but if anyone's trying to turn the life around now and put something back in, it's him. He's got a good heart deep down, and I know he'll do his best for his regiment and his country. I'm proud of him. And I'd like you now to join me in wishing him well in his new career. To Gary. Oh, Gary. To Gary. 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 Look after yourself, Gary. I will. Come here. Oh, love. Come back safely. You're fine. All right. Here's looking at your kid. Don't laugh. It's just a few words to say how I feel and that. Come here, soft brain. All the best, anyway. Yeah? <laughs> Good luck, Gary. See that guy. See ya. See ya. Oh, cheers, mate. We can show them around. What's the name? Burrows. Yeah, okay, that's great. Thanks. We've got a viewing. Great. When? This afternoon. A couple called Burrows. Apparently they've just been gazumped on a house, um, but they've got a mortgage in place, uh, no chain. Looking to buy quick. Fantastic. It's a viewing. It's not as though they're at the front door thrusting wads of cash at you. Ah, they'll love the place. I know they will. I've got a good feeling about yeah, this, Gail. Yeah, me too. I'm going to give the front a good brush over, you know, first impression. I'll tell you what, let's have a real good sort out in here. Clear all the surfaces, make it look bigger. We can store stuff on the boat. Good idea. I could even dress up like a butler. Open the front door, announce them. You could say I come with the house. This way to the drawing room. Um, uh, was there any post? Uh, no, nothing for us. These are all I could get. Oh, perfect. Vases in the kitchen. How did it look in here? Palatial. You know, um, if they're desperate to move, it could all go through in a couple of weeks. I know, but let's not count chickens yet. What do you think I should wear to show them around? What you've got on's fine. But before I forget, let them go up the stairs first. And let them open the bedroom doors themselves. That way they get a feel of the house being their own. Good idea. David! Look at the state of your shoes. Your mother spent ages on this floor. Mm, sorry. And get your feet off the sofa. You're pathetic, you know that? It's all right, it'll clean up. And what else you got up your sleeve, eh? Because I can tell you now, David, none of your little antics are going to stop us selling this house and moving on. You know, I've lived here all my life, and as soon as he comes on the scene, we've got to move. Selling the house was my idea. Well, you know it. Did you really think you were going to live here forever? You're 19. You need a place of your own. We're doing you a favour. Oh, what, by chucking me out? Yeah, thanks, Joe. Nobody's chucking you out. Yes, you are. You're selling up and you're getting somewhere smaller where there'll be no room for me. There'll always be a place for you wherever I am. Joe's right. You need your independence. Yeah, well, you've got to sell this place first, haven't you? So good luck with that. Yes, it's quite close to my husband's new job. Oh, oh, great. Uh, what is it you do? I, uh, work in insurance. Oh, interesting. Have you um, lived here long? 
Uh, actually, no. Well, I haven't. Uh, we both just got married. But, but no, no, I've lived here for 19 years. Uh, it was built in 1990 and I moved in as soon as it was finished. I had family in the street. Um, it's a very family orientated area. That's good. It makes all the difference, doesn't it? I thought you'd gone out, David. I did. But I'm back now. Uh, this is my son, David. David, Mr. and Mrs. Burrows, and this is. Um... Mm. Jess. All right. Yeah, well, um, this is the living room. As you can see, it's, uh, it's all open plan yeah. down here. Mom, just how many streets have got pedos living on them? Neither of us are what you'd call gardeners. Oh, like me then. A bit of grass to lie out in summer, that's all I need. Yeah. It's a good sized house. Bigger on the inside than you think. Oh, it's very deceptive. Do you um, get any bother from the factory next door? No. No, they just operate working hours Monday to Friday. It's a very quiet area. And your neighbours? Well, there's a, a family next door. They have a teenage son. He bakes cakes. Uh, the father, that is, not the son. <laughs> is that when he's not breaking in here and smashing your kitchen up? What do you mean? David's been filling me in. I'm not living here, Mum, no way. Place is full of ex-cons and paedophiles. I've got my A-levels this year. Ten minute wait for a cab. That's if you're lucky. I don't want a cab. Oh, I love. I'm holding the fort. I can't settle to anything. I open the papers and it's full of bombs and guns. I look around the place and it's full of his stuff everywhere. He has been away before. That was different. Prison. You get a release date. Ah, it's different. You go in a lad, you come out a man. A man will not want to come home and sit and watch Cash in the Attic with his mum anymore. Hey, come on, see what you just said. When he comes home, you've got to look on the bright side. What, is there a bright side? Of course there is. We're not tied down now. We can do what we want, go anywhere we want. What, like we did before we had him? Nice try, love, but it's just going to be the pair of us. You sat staring at the wallpaper and me staring at the holes in your socks. Oh, that might be right, asking if I can come in. Oh, no, it's from Gary. Well, let's see. <laughs> must be thinking of us. Well, of course he is. Oh, come here. You daft thing. His problem is in you as much as you're missing him. I bet he's going on about his mum and how great she is. <laughs> Do you know, I've never known it as quiet as this. That's not your way of leading up to telling me I'm fired, is it? No, love, no. Your job's safe. Yeah, if anyone will be for the chop, it'll be me. First I lose me own, then I lose me job. I'm not firing anybody. I'm just saying... I mean, recession or no recession, you'd think people would still want their hair cut. And maybe we could do a promotion. I was thinking of something last night. Oh? Yes, I thought if the customers aren't coming to us, then we should go to the customers. How? Well, we could go to old folks' homes. Do them in situ, as it were, you know. Discount, cut and blow. What those places smell? Oh, Natasha, don't be daft. What do you think, David? Well, to be honest, Gran, I don't really care. Oh, charming. Well, no, it's just I've got enough on my plate as it is with Joe 90 and Gale Force doing the Kirsty and Phil bit, you know, showing people around the house with one hand and then shoving me out the front door with the other. Of course, your mum's had a viewing today, hasn't she? How did it go? Terrible. Oh, right. Too small, was it? Oh, no, they love the house. It's just um, someone happened to tell them about the neighbours. You know, with a pedo living across the road and then the ex-con living next door. This someone wouldn't happen to be you, by any chance. Might have been. Well, why would you do that? Well, because I live there and I don't want to move. But that's just stupid. I mean, you can't put off every prospective buyer, can you? <laughs> Natasha, Natasha, Natasha. You don't know me at all, do you? <laughs> oh. See, he sent me that when he first got there, so I'd know he'd arrived safe, cos he knows the worry. This is the one I really wanted to show you. Oh. <laughs> Tony looked lovely. Oh, yeah, very smart. Oh, I've always been proud of him. Well, not when he were in prison, but when he were younger and stuff. But now, seeing that, I couldn't be prouder. Look, sent me this one earlier. Learned how to polish his shoes. Oh. I've been thinking about you. Oh, 
I knew you'd suck home eventually. You know you're being really selfish. Yeah. Your mum's just got married. They're planning a new start. In a place which doesn't have memories, a place that can be theirs. And you're trying to stop that. Okay. First thing, they're only selling up because he's up to his eyebrows in debt. And second, none of your business. And third, you just want your mum waiting on your hand and foot for the rest of your life. You know what, you're always banging on about Tina and how you do anything to get her back. Well, why would she want to go back to a selfish mummy's boy? Get lost. David, you're not the only one that questions your mum's motives, you know. But whatever you and I think, she will sell the house. No, she won't. Yes, she will. Lovey, there comes a time when you have to accept there are certain things that are inevitable. Well, he's making a sell up. She doesn't want to. I know she don't. Oh, David, come on. You know your mum as well as I do, and we could stand around all day telling her that red and yellow's orange. She'd still insist it was green. Now, come on. Just let your mum lead her own life. And you should concentrate on yours. You'll have to talk to him, because if I do, we're likely to come to blows. I mean, I know he doesn't want us to sell the house, but to deliberately set out to sabotage a sale, it's beyond me. They were cash buyers, no chain. But tell them we're going to put in an offer. And then he opens his mouth, making it sound like we live in the middle of a war zone. What's that? Just a photo. You do want to sell this house, don't you? Yes, of course. You're not just saying that. Only you don't seem that bothered by his antics. He grew up here, Joe. It's his refuge. I never had that. My mum always moved me from pillar to post. He's 19, not nine. Must be due a result soon, Sal. Uh, tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm sure everything will be fine. We had a woman in yesterday, went through exactly what Sally's going through last year. I mean, now you'd never guess how we're on. What was she doing in your place, then? In growing toenail. <laughs> in growing toenail. Oh. What I wouldn't give. Shall I pop in? Well, she was talking about going to the Trafford Centre. Keep herself occupied. On her own? I'll see if I can change my shift. Well, don't tell her to set out. She don't want a fuss. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yes, Joe. Lid, mate. Oh. There's a bit of con, these. There's a huge slab of concrete dots off a crane. This ain't gonna save you, is it? Well, it's not made for huge slabs of concrete, is it? Eh? They're pretty tough. You should make it out of what they make black boxes out of in cranes. Don't eat the corners. Well, it's the best bit. They were invented for people with mucky hands. You told me that, didn't you, Dad? You're supposed to throw the corners away. It's true, that. For Cornish miners. Hey, it's coming on this, isn't it? I was hoping there might be a bit more work going, but it looks like you're ahead. Yeah, I know. Bill's been away all week with Pam. He's such an action hero, James. He's dead impressed. He's off doing a quote in another job because he reckons we're done here. Quote? For what? Dad. Subtle. I just like to be busy. That's all right, Joe. I'll find out what a job is when he gets back. Appreciated. Uh... Oi! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Is Michael there, please? We're wasting our time. I mean, there's no way they're going to put in an offer. Not after David. Just... Uh, hello, Michael? Uh, yeah, it's Gail McIntyre, 8 Coronation Street. Well, I'm just checking up, really. See if the people who came to view came back to you, or... David's not here, is he? Uh, Joe, I want to give you Gail's just on the phone. And you don't think they'd be tempted by a slightly lower price? No, OK. All right, thanks. No offer. No. Well, we're time to right then, aren't we, eh? Bit of good news. Right. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Go on, Jase. What's this? The job Bill's been a quote. Wants you to give him an estimate for the plumbing. They're doing an ensuite. There you go. Silver lining. <sighs> Silver. That'll push the price up, madam. Right, great. Oh, don't explode, will you, Dad? Sorry, sorry. It's only we, 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 we've got to get the house pushed through, you know? It'll take as long as it takes. Yeah, yeah, of course it will. Thanks. 
Thank you. Oh! How did you get on with that quote yesterday? Uh, I think it's a bigger job than it looks. Much bigger. Kidding? There's lead pipes, they'll need stripping out. I'm not 100% about the drains. Drains? Mm, I'd stick a couple of notes on the estimate. I'll know for sure once I've started work on it. Well, I'll tell you what, do the figures and I'll have a chat with him. Uh, I, I wondered, um, you couldn't give us a chunk up front, could you, you know, for materials and that? Tyrone! It's Fizz! Well, I'll get him through the yard. Uh, what do you need? A bit up front would be good anyway. Look, uh, I don't work that way, Joe. No. Tyrone! I'm not going away! Uh, i tell you what, I'll think about it. Come and find me later on. Right, ta. Really, uh, see if there's been any more interest in the house. Yeah, okay, I'll wait here from you then. Yes, thanks. Bye. We'll phone you, as in, stop pestering me, you silly old cow. Cup? Oh, yeah, go on, I'll have half a cup. Oh, I say, it's all a bit tidy, isn't it? Look at the flowers. From Joe? You know, they were an incentive, really, to the couple who came round. Buy a house, get a bunch of flowers free. How could they resist? Yeah, I'm not sure what swung it, really. Being told there was a bloke over the road who locked up girls in attics or the full-scale fight up the street over teenage sex. Uh, yes, I heard about this. From David? Well, was he bragging? No, he was protecting you. Did he say that? No. But, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? He thinks you're being very silly giving up this lovely home for a man in debt. No, ma'am. That's what you think. And I don't need protecting for making my life better from me and my husband. Protection. Nice spin, Grant. Can I not have a private conversation in my own home? See, that's just it, though, innit? Since Joe, it's now your home. As though I count for nothing. Nonsense, David. Thing is with you, Mum, it's like the world splits in two in your head. You've got before Joe, where me and Sarah counted for summer. Oh, for heaven's sake, you and Sarah and will... And after I... Joe, where you can decide to flog the place that we've lived in all our lives without even consulting us. So, no. It wasn't you I was protecting, it was myself. And you don't need to tell me that that's selfish, man, because I know it is. David! We think they've grown up, don't we? Hmm? Yeah, it's so easy to forget that there's still a little lad in there, just crying out for a bit of stability. Don't make me feel any worse, man. And there, mad how you going, love? I'm going to go for my break. Uh, no, you're not. Not until you tell me what was really going on this morning. No, I was thinking of moving upstairs here. Don't change the subject. Well, it's empty, innit? I could rent a room. David, I don't rent rooms. I rent a flat. Oh, well, it's empty, though. Please. I might want to rent the flat. Well, till then. No, David. Now, will you answer the question? Are you really upset about her selling up? I mean, or were you just saying that to make her think again? Now, be honest. What do you think? Well, I think if you were trying to make a thing twice, I think it was very clever. Thanks. So what is it, hmm? Sweetheart, you're not really upset. Whatever suits you, Grant. I mean, it's not like I grew up in that house or all, is it? You know what, Mum never had one proper conversation with me about how I feel at being thrown out. Not one. Bill, meeting the Rovers. Now I'm at the yard. Uh, Jason's gone for a cake or something. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. I've got work lined up. I'm sorting getting money up front. Hello, Rick. Nice to see you. You'll have money, but not right now. Right now? It's payday, Joe. I can't give you what I don't have. True. So I'll pop back at eight. I should give you time. Just a few more days. I'll see you at eight. Don't be late. Webster. Have you not been seeing him all day? David! Ah, uh, this is something else. Mm -hmm. Maybe afterwards you and me can go out for an hour. Well, that'd be nice. Oh, you're still here then? I haven't moved without telling me. When I was your age, I'd been living on my own for two, three years. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, don't be clever. Sorry, I forget. It's a quality that's not appreciated in this family. Oh, Bill. What are you doing? No, Tara, I'll get me home. Uh, pipe, please, love, when you're ready. No, look, see, I've been thinking about what he asked me about letting me have some cash up front. I'm afraid the answer's no. 
but you, you said... You see, nobody pays me till after the job's done. So I just think, let's stick to normal procedure. Do the work first, get paid after. I need the money. Hi. <laughs> we all do. Good um, look, will you give Sally my love? What the hell are you playing at? I caught it with my elbow, I knocked it over. Well, put them back! I am doing it. What do you think I'm doing? I think it's a good thing I was here. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I'm not stopping here to be acute. You think I steal from a cancer? Oh, give me a break. Hayden, forget about that job and all. Are you a smart I think you just came that close to your first lynch here. Joey boy! Oh, please. Got my money, have you? I haven't, no. Well, so what are we going to do then? Well, you just have to, I don't know, but I haven't got it. You know what happens now then, don't you? Look, I'll get it for you. Just give me some time. I've heard that before. Time's up. There's people watching, I'll shout! And the cavalry will come. But too late for you. Get in! Hi. Uh, I'm just going to get changed. I've got a bit of a fall. What's happened? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think they must have moved the pavement since I was last out. I shall be a minute. How many has he had? Oh, come on. It's only been out half an hour. Oh, he still can't stand up. Ferry crossings. Where are you going? No idea. Well, then why are you looking at ferry crossings? As I want to know about everything, David, I have a natural thirst for knowledge. Oh, are we going out, then? Sorry, love, would you mind if we didn't? Only, I don't know, I, I don't feel up to it somehow. Hmm, you all right? You looked a bit on edge when you came in. Oh, I'm fine, just not in the mood for the rovers. <laughs> not falling out with Bill Webster, have you? No! Well, why are you looking at ferry crossings? Well, just dreaming about getting away. You know how it is. <laughs> on holiday? You might call it that. Where to? Anywhere. <laughs> not here, that's the important thing. Anywhere that's not here. You need to have a quiet word with her, and if Gran's worried about renting the whole flat, then I'll ask someone to move in with me. David, I'm really not happy getting drawn into this argument. Your mum's enough on the plate. This is between you and Audrey. No one's talking to you. Mum, will you help me or not? Maybe it's time you learn to stand on your own two feet. Or what? Like action man here. Yeah, thanks for no. Sorry. Water off a ducks. Thanks for understanding. Ah! Oh. Oh. Are you sure you don't want me to ask Dr Patel to pop in? No, it's just a spasm. I'll be as right as rain in a couple of hours. OK, but if it gets worse... Stop fussing. I'll be fine. Now get going. <laughs> hmm. See you later. See ya. You all right? Hey. I, uh, heard about... You know. Yeah? What did Bill say to you? Not a lot. Have you had a bit of a falling out or something? Well, if it's all the same, I'd rather not go into... Yeah, yeah, of course. So have you got any other work lined up or what? Nothing solid. Have you thought about what you can do for money? Oh, not bad, yeah. Bad doesn't even touch the sides. <laughs> to resell the house, I don't know. So you're looking for a quick sale, then? Why, do you know somebody who's interested? Well, not exactly, but there is a property manager sniffing around our flat. You got a name? Jolly, don't pay anything close to the asking price, you know. In this market, summer is better than nothing. Do you know kill me if she finds out? She won't. Come on, Jason, we're doing me a big favour. Get this off us, okay? Thanks. Show sure for you, my Joe. See you in a bit, pal. Yeah. yeah.
Hello, is that uh, uh, Four Peaks Properties? Uh, yeah, um, I want to speak to somebody about selling me out. Another cup of bell. Hi. Hi, love. David about? Uh, no, it's just popped to the wholesaler's farm. Good. Now, I know this isn't my place, but... Before you ask if it's about upstairs, the answer's no. Ma'am. No, Gail. Sorry, whole flat or nothing. He said he'll get a lodger. Oh, come on. Who in their right mind would want to share a flat with that lad? For goodness sake, even you're jumping ship. That's not fair. No. I'll tell you what's not fair, shall I, Gail? You expecting me to subsidise David while you bail out that husband of yours? I'm doing nothing of the sort. Oh, really? Then why are you selling up? Oh. Sweetheart, listen, please. All good marriages are based on give and take. He's just in a slump, Mum. Things will pick up. Yeah. Well, I hope for your sake you're right. Because you know there's going to come a time when you have got nothing more to give. Nothing whatsoever. from Four Peaks Properties. I am indeed. Annabelle Peak. No family connection. Mr McIntyre, I presume. I was beginning to think you were a no-show. Oh, I can't apologise enough. My uh, three o'clock was somewhat decision intolerant. Oh, uh, sh shall we go inside? Hmm, just a, a few more pickies. So, the office said you're looking for a brisk sale. Uh, yeah, uh, me and the wife, we're, uh, we're emigrating to Australia. Oh, wonderful. Never been there myself, but I've heard some smashing things. Rightio, see if we can't help speed you on your way. Type of property we're looking for. Decent size, satisfactory level of maintenance. It has been valued at 115. Sounds about right, give or take. Obviously, you understand, given market conditions, my company couldn't possibly offer that as a cash settlement. What are we looking at, then? I'd have to speak to my boss. Roughly. Well, ballpark, I could get you 80 with some arm twisting. I know that's probably less than you'd expected. Try 35,000 less. I'm afraid that's the premium you pay for a quick zero hassle sale. <sighs> How long would it take to complete? Well, that depends on you, but we do insist on immediate vacation of the premises once terms have been agreed. Hello, love. Perfect timing. Mwah. Who's this? Hi, Annabelle Peak, Four Peaks Properties. No family connection. She's interested in buying the house for cash. Well, I'm certainly willing to make an offer. 80k and all those problems are solved. That's an estimate. Would you please leave? I'm sorry? You heard me. Gail? Get out of my home. Now. What the hell do you think you're doing? I might ask you the same question. What earth were you thinking of? I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? I've just caught you trying to sell our home behind me back. I was only trying to get the ball rolling. Do you think I was born yesterday? Look, all that matters is that we have a potential offer on the table. 80,000 isn't an offer. It's an insult. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm not selling. They won't stump up the asking price. I'm taking the house off the market. You can't. We'll find another way. There isn't one! Short of robbing a flaming bank, this is it! We need that money and we need it now! You need the money. Oh. So that's how it is. Fine, you just look after number one. I'll sort this myself. I beg your pardon. All I've ever done is put you first. I was ready to give up everything for you. It was for us, Gail! For us! We had the chance of a fresh start! We still have. Where? The poor house, the bankruptcy court? You are leaving me for the vultures. Whatever happens, I'll stand by you. You know what? I'll pass on the whole support thing. I'm better off on my own. Where are you going? What do you care? I'm not responsible for the mess you're in. Yes, yeah, so I'm starting to wonder about that. And what's that supposed to mean? You really want to know? OK. You're a jinx. You happy now? When it comes to the male of the species, you're the equivalent of Tutankhamun's curse. Before we met, life was on the up. Well, I wasn't exactly setting the world alight, but I was holding me own. Now look at the state of me. Look at me! Oh, you're scaring me! And to think, 
in them early days when you subjected me to the Gail Platt School of Pain, I actually felt sorry for you. I said to myself, how can any woman have that much bad luck with blokes? Fast forward 18 months and suddenly it all makes sense. Bad luck, you make your own luck. Oh, and it's mugs like me who'll pay the price. Any of this. That doorway should have a sign over it. Fellas, abandon hope, all ye o enter. All right, back off. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, no wonder this one tried to kill you. It was self-defence. The lad deserves a flaming medal. I'm warning you, walk away. Gladly. So let me get this straight. Joe wanted to sell this house, your home, for a fraction of what it was worth, and because you said no, he went and threw his toys out the front. Well, there was a bit more to it than that. Oh, really? Oh, right. So, what other crimes against humanity did you commit? His dinner was late, was it? He forgot to polish his toolbox. All right, Gran, there's no need to get mucky. Oh, be quiet, David. I told him I was taking the house off the market. Straight up? Well, like you said, it's my home. David's too. I'm not ready to give it up yet. Oh, well, I'm very glad you're staying. Can't say the same about Joe. After lashing out at him the way I did, I wouldn't be surprised if he's had enough anyway. David. Yeah, I know. Stick the kettle. Oh, no, stuff the kettle. Have you got any wine? I don't want to drink. Well, I do. But what are you going to do, love? How should I know? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Well, you need to find out, because something is. Well, thank you, Miss Marple. I'd work that one out for myself. I mean, these money worries Joe had before, are you sure he's telling he's you... He told me they're under control. Really? Well, he didn't seem very under control to me. He seemed like a man at the end of his rope. <laughs> Hope my ears were burning. <laughs> Is that all you've got to say? No. I'm sorry for the way I behaved, the things I said. But I can explain if you'll let me. We'll be in the Rovers if you need us. Hmm? Come on. So where did you go? I walked for a while. Uh, ended up by the canal. And what were you doing? Thinking of another way to say, I'm sorry, but everything's going to be all right this time? No. Thinking of a way to tell you the truth. About what? About how bad my debts really are. About the trouble I'm in. You're starting to scare me now. Welcome to the club. You borrowed money. From a loan shark. Oh no. I was stupid. But I was desperate. Why didn't you come to me? <laughs> because all I'd done was borrow money from you. And I thought I could pay it off. I didn't know I was going to work me back or they were going to sell on me debts. What do you mean? I borrowed the money from another firm. And when they thought they might not get it back, they sold it on. I don't understand. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that this loan shark is the one I owe the money to now. And if he doesn't get it, and soon, I'm going to have a lot more than a bad back to worry about. How much do you owe? The way the interest keeps growing, I'm not even sure anymore. I wanted to. I just feel that you've been lying to me. Everything. Just been a lie. No, no, I swear to you. The time we spent together, on the honeymoon, just the two of us, 
That was the happiest I've felt for years. I never wanted to come back. Now I know why. You don't believe me. I don't know what to believe anymore. I may be stupid, but I thought a marriage was based on trust, not secrets and lies. If you want me to leave, I'll understand, and I'll pack my bags today, but that's not what I want. Because despite of everything, I know this could work, and I know we could be happy. Right now, I don't think I'll ever feel happy again. What it is, my wife's away at the moment and I really need to get this sorted. So, I definitely need both our signatures. No, no, that's not a problem. Eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. And the less known survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all through the eyes. Hey, <laughs> you've got the X Factor. Tina, Tina, your dad. She's like a... She's like a walking jukebox, hit after hit. Makes a change from Norris. Yeah, but not in a good way. She is driving me loopy. Tell her to can it. Well, I don't, because I'm scared of her. Give over, she's a pussycat. Uh, will you try spending eight hours a day with her? Anyway, I just came to apologise. What happened yesterday was unacceptable. What's wrong, Dan? You in trouble? No. Is it money? No, of course not. Me and Gail were just having a domestic. Yeah, but in the street. Come on, Dad, you're not telling me everything. I know you. Don't worry. We kissed and made up. From now on, it'll be wedded bliss. And I won't show myself up again. Mm.